Whether it's brushing your hair or brushing your teeth, simple things that we do every day are not easy to come by for many people in our community. And that's because they are homeless and don't often have basic household items. Well, we are joined by Brother Jerry Johnson, director of the Capuchin Soup Kitchen, and he is here on, our, on behalf of our friends at Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having you me. You guys do such great work, but there's a campaign underway to collect you know, several types of things called truckloads of hope. What is this program? Yes, the Metro Detroit Chevy Dealer Association, which is comprised of 38 uh, local Chevy uh, dealerships. Um, they're doing a collection of uh, hygiene items for our shower program at one of our soup kitchen sites, as well as uh, household staples for our uh, food pantry. Okay, so we've got a wish list of some of the items. Tell us about this list. Uh, the list, uh, it's mainly for uh, one of our soup kitchens has a shower program. This is mainly for folks who live in cars, uh, who are homeless, or maybe live in buildings without utilities. Mm -hmm. And so for the shower program, it's sort of a short-term solution to, you know, there's a, an affordable housing issue uh, problem in Detroit. So it's a short-term term solution to that. But what we're looking for for the shower program are mostly small items, mm -hmm. uh, travel size toothpaste, uh, travel size uh, toothbrushes. And we've got examples like in this bag here, I'll just hold this up, I see some hand sanitizer and some other things. Yes, and, and you can imagine uh, feminine hygiene products, mm -hmm. uh, women's underwear, men, men's underwear. The underwear isn't on the list, but it's definitely something we can use. Okay, feminine hygiene products, more tooth brushes and even moisturizer. You know, in the winter when it's so cold outside, it is painful on your skin, on your hands, on your face, anything that's exposed. That's exactly right. Yes. People have trouble with their hands outside so much. And these larger items are for our food pantry, which mm -hmm. will be more for families that do have a place but are struggling uh, to get by. With some basics. Okay, so how can people donate to help? Well, at any local uh, Chevy dealership in Metro Detroit area, There'll be a designated uh, Silverado pickup truck with a big sign in there. And so folks who are able to, to contribute can come by, put the items in there. And they'll be collecting those items up until March 30th. Mm -hmm. And then on April 5th, there'll be a large caravan, 38 Silverado pickup trucks, one from each dealership. will be making the trek down to our big food pantry and we'll be unloading things from there. Wow. So that's the Friday after Easter then, right? Correct, All yes. right. Well, tell us more about the Capuchin Soup Kitchen and all the work that you guys have been doing since 1929. Right. Um, you know, our Franciscan tradition is to try to think of every person as our own brother or sister, so we try to get to know people's names. Um, we have uh, two soup kitchen sites. We have another big site with our food pantry. We have a residential program, a nine-month residential program for men who were formerly homeless but are now dealing with recovery from substance abuse uh, issues. We have a 12-month uh, residential program for men coming out of prison. Mm -hmm. We call that On the Rise Bakery, and so the guys run a bakery. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Wonderful work that you're doing. Thank you so much for being here and giving us the opportunity to learn about a way that we can help, to learn how you can help, and to find a location, a donation location nearest you. Visit the website, chevydetroit.com slash truckloads dash of dash hope. Thank you again so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you.